This group was a significant influence in the creation of the Motown sound of Young America movement. This group provided enhancing vocals for many Motown recorders, many of which they are unaccredited for. This group was possibly the most productive of all Motown artists and yet only 1% of Motown fans know who they are. This group was crucial to the development of Motown records and the centerpiece of today's video is all about the Andantes. Before we start, let's be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and push the notification bell to be sure you won't miss out on any more uploads. Now without further ado, let's cue that intro. This trio included Jackie Hicks, Marlene Barrow, and Levane Dems. Dems attended Pershing High School while Barrow and Hicks attended Northwestern High School. The story begins with Barry Gordy and his then wife, Raymond Lyles, established Rayburn Music Writing Company. Gordy allows initial plans with this company was to assist local vocalists in finding an outlet. In 1959, the couple promoted their company on a local radio station which grabbed the attention of the company's first paying client, LeVane Dems. Barrow and Hicks went to the same church and they was given the name the Andantes by the church pianist. They was told that the name means soft and sweet, just like their voices. Barrow and Hicks attended school with musician Richard Riley, who brought them to Motown. Wiley already had an audition with the label and had a singer in his back pocket named Emily. He put the duo together with Emily to sing background for him for his audition. Now, things didn't go as planned for Wiley as Gordy didn't take a liking to him, but he was more interested in the trio. Gordy had plans for the trio, but Emily got married and her husband didn't want his wife in the music business. Gordy liked them so much that he didn't want to let them go, so he pulled some strings together and placed Dems in that opening spot. And that's how we got the Andantes. At first, I had to take a seat for the Weber singers, but around 1962, they started to fade away, giving the chance for the Andantes to shine. The first song that the group sang background vocals on was Laughing Boy by Mary Wells. From the initial recording, Motown's realized that Andantes had flawlessly matched vocals that could be built and arranged on the fly. As Motown began to establish its own soulful sound, the group melodies became an essential component of that sound. The group basically lived at the studio since they all shared a room with a bed just in case if a recording session ran late. As new artists were signed to the label, and new songs was recorded, the group was in the studio on a regular basis. Over the next few years, they appeared on numerous of Motown recorders, most notably, Baby I Need Your Lovin', I Can't Help Myself, and Bernadette from the Four Tops, Stop in the Name of Love, and Love Child from the Supremes, Jimmy Mack, and You've Been Love Too Long by Martha and the Vandellas, Don't Mess With Bill, and A Breathtaking Guy by the Marvelettes, Get Ready, just Another Lonely Night, and It's Growing by The Temptations, How Sweet It Is, I Heard It Through The Grapevine, and Save The Children by Marvin Gaye. Now these are just a few songs that I mentioned that the trio recorded for these Motown legends, and they also recorded many more. The trio often performed at local Detroit nightclubs, although they never traveled with Motown. The group released a few singles of their own, but none charted as well as the tracks that they provided background vocals on. Now some of the tracks that the trio recorded was My Baby's Gone, she was an angel on Like a Nightmare, Honey, and If You Were Mine to name a few. Many Supreme records featured the Andante's voices 
who was frequently employed to fill in for Mary Wilson and Sydney Birdsong during illness and pregnancy leave. They recorded background vocals for several Motown performers, including Brenda Holloway, Marvin Gaye, The Temptations, Mary Wells, The Marvelettes, Stevie Wonder, and Tammy Terrell, to mention a few. The trio also delivered backup vocals for non-Motown singers such as Marv Johnson, John Lee Hooker, Betty Everett, Edwin Starr, and Jackie Wilson. From 1961 to 1972, the trio may be heard over 20,000 Motown records, practically the entire labor catalog in those 11 years. In early 1972, Motown relocated its Detroit operations to Los Angeles and they didn't understand the group's contract. Devastated by the abrupt end to their music career, they went ahead to seek alternative work. With Motown relocated to Los Angeles, Dempse was offered a contract with ABC Dunhill Records, but the deal fell through and she relocated to Atlanta. Dempse recorded for GRC Records in the late 70s, then she later joined the Richard Law Singers, also contributing to the music for the 1974 film Black Scarlet. She also did the songs for commercials for the local news and a television show called Look Up Atlanta. The trio briefly reformed in 1990 in Detroit to record for Motor City Records alongside Motown alumni Pat Lewis. Before finally disbanding in 1992, the trio made an album under their stage name. Hits and Barrow eventually stopped performing and went back to work, with Barrow settling down and raising a family in Detroit while working for the Michigan Department of Labor. Hicks worked for the Detroit Water and Sewers Department, while Dems worked for the, the Georgia State Center for Intellectual Disability and later became an evangelist. The trio reunited in 2013 to attend the exhibit at the Motown Museum in Detroit that showcased them with the Supremes, the Vandellas, and the Marvelettes. The trio was inducted into the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame in 2014. Burrow passed away at the age of 73 on February 23, 2015. After more than 40 years, Hicks and Dems finally got residual compensation for their work at Motown. The group music may still be heard each and every day all around the world. Now I have one question before we head out of here. What is your favorite song that the Andantes sung background vocals for? <laughs>